soon as we hit November, December, they got a whole set of things that I just start to remember. Like being a small girl and actually believing in Santa Claus. So I actually believing in Santa. So I'm minding my manners cause at this time it can matter. Since anybody behaving mean that you get no gifts this year and I really want the dolly set and the big teddy bear. And there's such a wonder in the air and people are so kind. All because it's Christmas time. I remember as a child, you get bait up and you're gone down Regent Street with mommy and auntie and they got so much people that they all just meet. And you're not complaining even if the new sandals hurt your feet because you know you can get jelly at border market. That sweet, sweet. You're walking in and out of all them stores and you're tired like hell. And you're trying to figure out which toy you can ask Santa for, but you just can't tell. Because every time you make up your mind, and you find a nice one and you make up your mind, they got a nicer one in the next store, because it's Christmas time. Of course, when you get a bit older, there was hard work mixed in with the fun. And your mommy threatening for slinging up if she housewalking done. Anyway, as soon as she gone for work, you and all the neighbor's children playing in the sun. Afternoon come, your parents pull up, everybody start run. So, next day, you do at least half the work before you play. You know how it goes? Because parts of your skin still carry fresh reminders of yesterday's blows. So this time, mommy can't be so fixed. The flooring clean, but the windows shine, shine. So she give you a chance and a warning just because it's Christmas time. Well, if you like me and you love to eat, me belly to start rumbling since the seasoning of the pepper pot meat. And you see, when the garlic pork hit the oil and the fat start melt in the heat, right away I find one of me mother who made bread and take a seat. Every restaurant you go to, they ain't a regular thing, share Christmas rice. And don't talk about the market, everybody raising the price. Anyway, but since you get a little bonus, you buy any things anyhow. And you're promising yourself that next year you're going to invest in mining coal. Plus, you're growing your own lettuce and broad leaf time. So that you ain't get caught in this same thing next Christmas time. Anyway. Everywhere you go, there's a feeling of festivity in the air. And if your granny's still around, she's making a strong ginger beer. It's funny how morning has just come, and the whole year you're barely scraping by. And at Christmas party, you can't believe it's Deba Susie looks so nice. Oh my. Bare skin teeth at the office, and sometimes you laugh till you cry. Add a slice of real, real Guyanese black cake and you high, high. Then take a two hour lunch break for do your shopping. Ain't no crime. In fact, the boss don't even notice you gone because it's Christmas time. Anyway, thinking about that first Christmas. I wasn't there, so I can't tell from memory. So I got to rely on my imagination and what the Bible told me. But they say that that first Christmas was simply a magical happening with a glorious bright star appearing and angels with impromptu singing. Wise men traveling thousands of miles just to see a tiny baby, bearing gifts in the presence of proud daddy Joseph and mommy Mary. Oh, I am so glad that God sent his son, the gift of a savior to us and the beginning of this wonderful thing called Christmas. But most of all, I am grateful for the peace and the joy that is mine, simply because it's Christmas time. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support that you've shown us.
thus far. Um, we've come to the end of this edition, but we're going to be with you next week. Same time, same place. Remember that you could catch us on Thursdays now for our rebroadcast on TVG, yeah, Voices and Flow. So you could catch this program back. If you missed it, you could catch it back on Thursday. Remember, you could hit us up on our Facebook, hit us up on YouTube, send us a Blackberry message, jump into a chat room, shoot us an email. You have no reason not to make contact with us. If you have anything you want to share with us down at Upscale Poetry, Voices and Flow. I want to thank our sponsors, Digicel. This has been a tremendous, tremendous year. Thank you so much for sticking by our side, and I hope that we can go into 2013 with you, you know. Anyway, anyway. So, from all of us here at Voices and Flow, we want to wish you a merry, merry, merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. So, until, peace out.